Want to get rid of the dorky stock rear fender on your XSR700 for a cleaner look like this one? Let me show you how to swap it with the Fender Eliminator Kit by New Rage Cycles. Let's get into it. Okay, so first step, we're gonna remove the seat. We're gonna remove these six bolts right here. One, two, three, four, five, six with a four millimeter Allen key. Okay, so once we remove the bolts, I'm gonna take these covers off. All right, so once we have access by the battery, uh, ignoring this red connector, we're gonna unplug the four that are here. Okay, so after some assistance, we got these connectors out. I say a bit difficult to take out because they're in a very tight corner, but we managed to get them out with a flathead screwdriver. All right, so moving on, we're gonna take out uh, these four bolts. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now that the tail is off, or I call it a shovel, because it looks like a big ugly shovel, Bruh. you're gonna start removing these connectors and pieces. Before we move on, I just wanted to mention I did get the tuck version um, for the Fender Eliminator kit, which means that the plate will be tucked like this instead of being out like this. So for the next step, we're going to be connecting the NRC plate to the belly pen just like this. Okay, and we'll be using um, the M6 by 10 bolts included with the star nuts. I did create a picture diagram of the screws just because I wanted to be organized beforehand installing it. So I'll include that right here. All right, guys, so we attached those bolts. Now we're just adding the little caps that come included since we're not putting the plate here. I'm also going to start feeding these four end connectors back in here. So we can get that out of the way. And then this one's going to be like here later. Okay, so the next bolts are gonna go like this with the spacer. The black spacer is gonna go through there. And then the M6 by 30 bolt is gonna go like this. And then we'll just be attaching the nut there. All right, guys, I went ahead and connected everything um, and we're gonna test now before tightening the rest of the bolts to make sure everything's really good. All right. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, sex. 
direction. So left signal. Wait. All right, guys. This is why it's important to always test before tightening everything. In. So I messed up the right and the left signal, so they were going the opposite way. So yeah, always test. So now that everything's good, we're gonna finish tightening everything. In. But so far, it looks freaking sick. All right, guys. With the last two remaining bolts, we're gonna go ahead and put the spacer right here, like this. Finish tightening the four bolts right here with the nuts. Now we're gonna add the shrink tubes on these remaining uh, wires so that we can get the light installed for the for the plate. All right, guys. So. Uh, we attached the the license plate light connectors. Got the shrink tubes on there. Do that before you connect them. And now we're gonna go ahead and test. All right, guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and use the heat gun. Um, Fortunately, we have a power bank by Jackery, really good power bank. This video is not sponsored though, by the way, uh, but they are really good. It's reliable for jobs like this or camping. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Just go ahead and increase. Try to put it a little bit towards the middle there. Oh, never mind. So we went ahead and put some black tape on the ends uh, for peace of mind and we also cleaned it up a bit and uh, tied the wires up together, added some zip ties. So now we're just cutting these ends off. We also went ahead and tucked in the, all the four connectors in. Go ahead and put uh, the pans that were on here back on with the same screws. Wow, 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 wow looking very very clean now I'm very very happy with the results what do you guys think